Well, hello. We are live again. Juice Daddy live. Let's see if I can share it. Share on Facebook. There it is. Awesome. Focus. All right. As I said in um, the last episode of the $5 Game Box, I was going to do a live stream today at 2 o'clock Mountain Time where I don't know how many people are going to join me. I know there's a lot of stuff going on. It's a big football Sunday. It's at least nice here. I don't know how the weather is around the country, around the world. Um, of course, we're leading into a holiday week here in um, Montana or in the United States with Thanksgiving and Christmas season hitting up. And so I don't know who or what's going to join us. So we will uh, find out yeah, or if anyone does at all. If no one does, we'll still upload the video because I do have things to do today. We have um, right there pickups, packages to go over recent pickups, get these shown, uh, show you these great pickups um, because uh, Black Friday is coming up. And we'll also talk uh, Black Friday today. Um, I'll pull up a, uh, let's see what I got here. I've got a little spreadsheet of games, uh, GameStop. Just, I don't know if it was, if they dropped their ad or if it was leaked. I know like the initial front page ad was like leaked on like a picture was leaked on Twitter. And then like 30 minutes later, the whole ad was up on cheapassgamer.com. So um, who knows there? I'm imagining it was all kind of set up uh, some way. But GameStop, in my opinion, has got some really good deals. I think they waited and they waited until today or at least this past week. They waited for other ads to drop, and then they're like, okay, we're going to beat that. We're going to beat that. We're going to match that. And they didn't beat all the prices like at Walmart, Target, uh, Best Buy, but they beat a few, and they uh, beat some good ones. And um, anyway, we'll get to that. I think they've got the probably the best deal on Switch. Um, and depends on how much you want Kohl's cash, I guess. If you, if you shop at Kohl's a lot, that's probably the best way to get your console but anyway we'll get the black friday stuff here in a little bit and uh, anything else that uh, peeps want to discuss uh chat's open so uh yeah let's uh, let's get to it um i'll just start i talk to myself when i'm doing videos so what's the matter of talking to myself uh right now um pickups we'll start uh i got this uh from clearance at Target. Extinction on uh, Xbox One. It was $11.98. If you got a focus, there it is. $11.98. Um, kind of looks like a more action packed Shadow of the Colossus. Armies of colossal monsters and their minions have threatened humanity. You are Avil, one of the last defenders in an ancient order. Called to prevent a fate worse than death, extinction. I think this is on the Black Friday. Let's see, extinction. It's going to be twenty bucks at Best Buy. So check out Target. Check out your Target clearance section if you're interested in this game, because they're already beating the price. There. All right. Well, let's stack them up here. Also at Target, this was back in their uh, buy two, get one free. God, that happened, I don't know, uh, a couple weeks ago. We have uh, Mega Man 11 on the Switch. I believe all these titles were, were they 20 I think they were $20. So Mega Man 11. So that's cool. Uh, this looked interesting, NBA 2K uh, Playgrounds 2. Like a maybe a modern day NBA Jam. I don't know if it's as over the top as NBA Jam. I'm kind of what put me over the top is he's not on the cover and he's not mentioned here on the back. Which oh yeah yeah he is. Jordan is in the game. So remember back in the day NBA Jam, Jordan wasn't in it. They couldn't get the likeness of Jordan, but they got Jordan in here. Doctor J, uh, KG, Kevin Garnett, 
And of course, you know, all the, uh, what's up, Bad Brad? What's up, video game lover? Welcome. How are you both doing? Awesome. So yeah, NBA 2K11. I am having a good day. Thank you. Hope you're having a good day as well. Thank you. It is a very great day. It's an absolute beautiful day here in Southwest Montana. Um, we've got my uh, Montana State uh, Bobcats shirt on. We made the FCS playoffs in a uh, absolute miracle from yesterday. <laughs> absolute last second miracle. So uh, yeah, we're doing good. Yep, playoffs at home against the Word. Incarnate Word is he uh, a private Catholic college out of San Antonio, Texas. And I looked them up, and they got. They said their biggest alumni is David Robertson. Speaking of uh, old school NBA players, and I was like, wait a minute, David Robertson went the Navy. He's the admiral. He went the Navy. I looked. David Robertson went back to school to incarnate word to get like his business administration degree because he wanted to learn more about business so their biggest alumni is, a guy, is like an old dude like I'm going back to school get my second degree so <laughs> yeah uh, the, the the thing about incarnate word is they definitely did not expect to be in the playoffs because they have a scheduled money game on December the 1st which is the week in two weeks against Iowa State so I don't know if they're can if they've canceled it already or they're gonna wait till the results of next week. Because if they beat the Bobcats next week, then on December first, they're in Fargo playing North Dakota State. So <laughs> we'll see what they do with their money game uh, at uh, against the Cyclones. Uh, finally, in this uh, buy two get one free at Target sale, uh, Nino Cooney, uh, Revenant Kingdom, not relevant. Revenant Kingdom, the day one edition. Getting a lot of reflection from my computer screens. Um, I believe, like I said, $20, which I think is the Black Friday price, the best Black Friday price. Let me double check that. Um, I got a little spreadsheet here that I got off Cheap Ass Gamer, which is a godsend website around these uh, around these times. Why is it Nino Cooney listed? I know it's in ads. Huh. I think it's twenty dollars. I, I think it's even twenty dollars today at Best Friday. Best Friday. Uh, Best Buy. Best Friday. So okay, there. Buy two get one. And uh, let's see. Last week, uh, GameStop had their Pro Day sale, and they had some good sales. I did avoid some of them because I knew that uh, the Black Friday price was going to be better. If I'm looking at, uh, let's see, Target, Walmart, and Best Buy were released by then. This, the price I got on this game is actually, I think, being beat by Walmart by two dollars, but it was ten dollars, nine ninety nine. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront Two, the Elite Trooper Deluxe Edition. As you can see, their normal price was thirty bucks. Unfortunately, it's an open copy. Um, I'm assuming the uh, code for. The uh, redeeming all the stuff is available. I guess we'll find out, won't we? But i um, not a huge fan of multiplayer online shooters. In fact, I'm not a fan of them at all. But I know they stuck a, uh, a uh, single-player story element into this one. I figure $10 is a good price to pay for it to uh, run through that and maybe dink around online and see if I can become Kylo Ren or something. Battlefront 2. Got this one at uh, that sale, or the, you know, the Pro Day sale at GameStop as well. Yeah. Detroit and 25 at Walmart for some reason. So that's the price. The price and I think it started at GameStop today for $20, so it's still 20 bucks. So there it is. And uh, finally, at GameStop... This wasn't part of their Pro Day sale. It had been going on for quite some time, but I got in and on it when I went there. Uh, they were doing uh, four for ten, four for twenty dollars on used games, nine ninety nine and, and below. So I found uh, there. I actually should have done a second round. I should have gone to both Game Stops here in town, but I just went to the one by the mall, or in the mall, and I got 
Clawden returns. This is Sengoku. <laughs> and you know me, I love that retro style, kind of 8-bit, 16-bit. It's a 16-bit action RPG. Even says it right there on the back. 16-bit action RPG. You know I'm down for that. NIS America, good label. Um, sweet. Couldn't pass that up. Uh, this title was kind of like, you know, I needed a fourth game interesting we have a rogue stormers looks like a and it says run and gun gameplay so we got kind of a cuphead kind of a maybe a contra-esque online and couch co-op but if it's roguelike that probably means it's kind of random generated i think so i don't like that but sure why not this title <laughs> i had a couple in my hand and uh, this one kind of won over a Victor Vran Overkill Edition for the Xbox One. I think it's on PS4 as well. This one won over because I think this is a CD. Um, is this is this like a Motorhead song in there? <laughs> uh, I'm getting messages. I thought I had airplane mode turned on. Um, I'm live, Terry. That's Terry from uh, Nostalgia Lane. That's not a CD. What is that? It's got a manual. I don't see what it is. A Victor Vran edition Motorhead. Is it a Motorhead picture book? Motorhead through the ages. I wish I'd focus on it. There we go. Motorhead through the ages. Is Motorhead a uh, part of this game? Um, does, is, is Lemmy? Um, Motorhead Through the Ages and Fractured Worlds download code. Oh, it's part. It's like a level. You you play like Motorhead stuff. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. I know. That's just what kind of caught my eye is... is Become Victor, Hunter of Demons, forge your own hero on a quest to liberate the cursed city of, I can't pronounce that, change how you at any moment, modify your demon slaying, load, dodge deadly attacks, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, Motorhead's involved. Nice one, right? Keep it up. Thanks, man. Thank you, Jay. I appreciate it. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not a huge Motorhead fan, but come on, and. I think I've got every video game. Let's see. Um, this one. Then, of course, Lemmy and Motorhead's a big part of um, Jack Black game called... God, what is it now? Brutal Legend. And, of course, I have a, a repro copy of Holy Diver from, um, on the NES, which only came out in Japan on the Famicom. Although they did a fully release an NES cart like a couple months ago, like very limited. It's like it came with a ton of stuff. I'm like, I'll stick my repro. It's kind of like... And finally, uh, the four for $20. Uh, this is the one I really wanted. $10,000. I love the old school arcade Tempest. Any chance to kind of get, like, you know, a more chaotic, colorful, crazy Tempest. Uh, I think it has some decent reviews. So this of the four... I definitely wanted to pick up. I was very happy that the, my GameStop had this in stock because I don't even think it was available online at the time. So, cool. Tempest 4000. Not to be confused with, speaking of old school, it's not on sale anywhere for Black Friday, and it did just come out. But And I may have to get VR, PlayStation VR, to play this. But apparently, Tetris Effect is crazy good. Like if you're just if you can stand Tetris, like <laughs> Tetris Effect is like the version of Tetris. That's what I'm hearing at least, or reading. So if that ever goes on sale, I may have to check that out. All right. Oh my God, crazy football Sunday so far. All right. Um, this is. A Macari pickup from St. Peter's, Missouri. Already opened it so I can rate the person. 
and uh, not a huge pickup, but one that I it wasn't on my radar until um, I was in a thread on Reset Era or somewhere, and someone le- linked the opening, like the opening cinematic of this game, NBA Showtime, NBA C for the Dreamcast, and it is the uh, classic John Tesh. I'm like, oh crap. And it turns out it's 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 not just a standard like NBA five on five um, game. It's like an NBA Jam two on two with you know Shaq's in here. Um, NBA on NBC licenses two on two. Yeah, over the top. Midway does. Yeah, Midway did it. So they're you know same people who made Jam did it um, from the team that brought you NFL Blitz. Boom. Check that out. And uh, while I was searching for that on Macari, while I was like, oh, let me see if I can find that. Oh, it's on PlayStation. This also popped up, and I had to get it as well. NBA Showtime, NBA on NBC, complete in box on N64. It was actually pretty cheap. I think I paid $10 with ship for a in box. Not the best shape box, uh, you know, but... I've seen worse, that's for sure. Um, yeah. There that is. And it is complete. It's all in there. Uh, there you go. There's a manual up there. Cart's in good condition. Uh, sweet. Another little... I'm getting some in-box stuff lately. Like complete in-box old carts. Not bad. I think I missed a question. Fave game. Fave game. Um, old school or current? If we're going old school, I, I have always said uh, Yoshi's Island. I love the original Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. I don't know why. Something like, I think it's the, the colors, it's the, the gameplay. I, I just really like that game. The only thing I don't like about that game is uh, Mario crying. <laughs> Everything else? I uh, really dig it. Yoshi's Island, man. Still. I need to get like a complete copy of that. I've passed on it once before at the local retro store. I don't know why. But uh, I need to. Speaking of the local retro store, I've got a couple pickups from there. Uh, The first one, um, I used some credit, I believe. Yeah, I've been taking, I've been selling like crazy from that $600 haul, all the uh, duplicates. Um, a lot of that money is going to go towards Black Friday purchases this year. And um, a lot of like stuff that I couldn't sell on my own or wasn't worth kind of listing on my own on Macari or eBay, I took, took in there. And I did get some credit. Um, I did believe I didn't have this, but I didn't. Um, Monster Hunter V Try on the Wii. And a demo disc version. I still have a demo disc version, but I never had the full game. And it is Brad, I'm looking to get on Black Friday. I just had two like disconnects. Costco. It starts. Where is it at? November twenty second, or in store November twenty third, twenty sixth. That thing. Netgear, Nighthawk, X65, Wi-Fi router. <laughs> I've got my eye on that. Uh, one, one thirty, one twenty nine ninety nine. Um, yeah. Were you talking about video games? Because <laughs> I am. My router is what is it? It's a Netgear. It's a Netgear thirty dollars special. I picked up at Staples over 10 years ago and it's fine but i don't know what i'm missing <laughs> I'm missing out on like great awesome like streaming in the bedroom uh whatever i don't know i might be but i might not be but new router we're gonna have it it should be great for this tiny little apartment i should have no problems with anything with that router uh, games, I will get to them. We're going to do a Black Friday discussion once I get through the pickups. I do promise. And uh, Well, I'll tell you, the, the, the game 
that I'm eyeballing the most. Um, so I go back to the sheet. Seventeen dollars, Black Friday, GameStop, God of War. Seventeen dollars. Just go to a dual band router. I think it is a dual band router. I was reading reviews on it. I think it's, but it's like a heavy duty dual band router. Not as that much info on it in the Costco ad. But I think it's just dual band. Hmm. All right. Uh, back to the retro game store on the same day I picked up the uh, Monster Hunter. Picked up a couple Sega CD games. A little WWF action, Rage in the Cage. Probably not good. Probably based on the same type of gameplay, like on Royal Rumble on Super Nintendo. And, uh, <laughs> oh my God, live action video. Look at that. Can't wait to check out that black and white five frames a second, if we're lucky, footage of Lex Luger and Million Dollar Man. And <laughs> but look at the roster. You got Taker, Shawn Michaels, Macho Man, Yoko. Uh, got the Head Shrinkers, got the Nasty Boys, Bret Hart, Bam Bam, the model, Rick Martel, Mr. Perfect, Razor Ramon, Undertaker. <laughs> awesome. Look at that. There it is. Neato. My uh, second Sega CD game ever. Also picked up my third. Double Switch! They just released this um, limited run games. Just came out uh, re-releasing this, I think, on PS4. I don't know if there's a Switch version, but on PS4, I'm like, oh, it's, a, it's an FMB game. It's crap, but just look at this. Uh, directed by Mary Lambert. She's actually, what did she direct? I forgot. Let me Google her real quick. She's actually a real director. She's not some, like... Lambert. Mary Lambert. Nope. Not the singer. Director. Pet Cemetery. <laughs> the Urban Legends movie. <laughs> like, what? Really? <laughs> so, directed by Mary Lambert, Corey Hayne, and Deborah Harry. Deborah Harry's in this, and Corey Haim, and CD, eerie CD music composed by Thomas Dolby. Yeah, Thomas Dolby. She blinded me with science, Thomas Dolby. Which I thought was really odd. They got Debbie Harry to act in this, but they couldn't like get her to sing or you know get Blondie to do a track. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so apparently this is kind of a... Uh, cult. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to say classic, but it's cult enough that Limited Run said, yeah, we'll make a run of it and put it on PS4 or whatnot. So here's the original Sega CD version. And uh, he had as a common title. It's not worth a whole lot, I don't think. So, like, each of these was like three for eight. Eight each. So, yeah. There we go. Awesome. Double switch. God of War is amazing. My favorite God of War game by far. I've heard nothing but awesome things about this God of War. Nothing but awesome things. And seventeen dollars. Um, it was released. It released in the spring, wasn't it? I figured we see Black Friday discounts and uh, the twenty-five dollars. It, it, it was basically twenty-five across the board before today. Walmart, Target, Best Buy, all at twenty-five. I'm like, that's a pretty good price for it. Then GameStop went over the top with seventeen bucks. I mean. Whew. Wow. Did not expect it to see for less than 20. I thought I, I was kind of like 25. I was, I was expecting 30, kind of entering the month and before ads got released. I'm like, we'll probably see God of War around 30. And then here we are, you know, 17. So cannot beat that. All right. Speaking of uh, GameStop, we got some, I got some GameStop packages and some Best Buy packages. I <laughs> These GameStop packages, they go back. Um, so, Pro Day over this past weekend, last weekend. I'm so happy. Whew. Pro Day, here we go. 
And so I'm still an Elite Pro member, even though I'm banned from trading and I can still get the 20% discount off used games. So I have 20% off used games. Pro Day, you got an additional 10% off used games. And then online on GameStop.com, if you put in the cheap ass gamer code CAG16, C A G 16, you got an additional 16% off used. So 20 plus 10 plus 16. I got two recent big hits that aren't really seeing any sort of Black Friday deals. I got them for about $64. Used. So I haven't, I'm opening them now, so I don't know their full condition, but I'm already liking this one. There's Spider Man. Wow. Oh, disc was out. Look at the reversible cover. Awesome. Check it out. Nice. Unlock the Marvel Universe. Oh. First month free for Marvel Unlimited. I'm not too interested in that if you want to steal that code. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Pause. Look. If you want one month of Marvel Unlimited. But yeah. But this Spider-Man's only seeing deals in uh, the bundles. The Black Friday bundles. Um, dollar. Dollar. $199. PS4 Slim, not the Pro, the Slim, and a copy of Spider-Man for $199, which if you don't have a PS4, whoo, jump in. Jump into that deal. $199. Do it today and go to GameStop. Here's what you, if you don't have a PS4, no PS4 games, here's what you're going to do today. You're going to go to GameStop, you can buy this bundle. $199, PS4 Slim, and Spider-Man. The Uncharted Collection is $9.99. Uncharted 4 is $14.99. Uncharted The Lost Legacy, $9.99. Last of Us Remastered, $9.99. Horizon Zero Dawn, the definitive complete edition, $9.99. You're going to reconnect. You're going to get the entire Uncharted series, except for the one on PSP or PSP. Every charted game, but why is it disconnected? Wait for that router. All right, so this is so 64 divided by two. Bad math. 30, 32 bucks. So, hey, and remember, this was last week. This was last week, by the way. Oh, hey. Okay, um, let's see. What did you say about the Uncharted games package? You're cutting out. I never played an Uncharted. Okay, I, I, I don't know why I'm cutting out. So, let's see if I can find it. Black Friday stuff today. Not their whole ad, but some of it. So, what I was saying, here we go. PlayStation 4. So, Uncharted the Nathan Drake Collection is all three of the PlayStation 3 Uncharted games kind of remastered onto one disc. So, Uncharted 1, Uncharted 2, Uncharted 3. I loved Uncharted 1. Uncharted 2 is one of the best games of that generation, one of the best PS3 games, hands down. Uncharted 3 is kind of mixed. A lot of people didn't like it, but still really good games, great storytelling, fun, action-packed gameplay, ton of fun. Today, starting today, Uncharted the Nathan Drake collection at GameStop, $9.99 brand new, 10 bucks. All right. Uncharted 4, which is the PlayStation 4 Uncharted title, is $14.99 brand new. It's a couple years old, but that's still a pretty good price for it. So you're at $25 to get Uncharted 1 through 4. Awesome titles. Then Uncharted it had a uh, not really a DLC, kind of a side story called The Lost Legacy. It's on disc. It's $9.99. You can also buy it and, you know, you can download all these titles, but you're not going to find it for $10 on the PlayStation Network. So basically you get the entire Uncharted series, Uncharted 1, 2, 3, 4, 
and then the Lost Legacy for what? 10 20 $35. $35 bucks to get every Uncharted title except for the one on PS Vita. That's really good. And then you throw on top of that Horizon Zero Dawn, nine ninety nine. That's forty five dollars of just and your your set. Uh, here's Last of Us remastered. Same people who made Uncharted. Oh, it's fourteen ninety nine. I thought it was ten. It's fourteen ninety nine. So for the price of one brand new, like if you went out and bought Red Dead Redemption today, for sixty dollars you can get all the Uncharted games, Last of Us remastered, and Horizon Zero Dawn. If you don't have a PS4, you're buying a PS4, you buy that Spider-Man bundle, which started today, a $199 Spider-Man, the PS4 Slim. So spend $260, and you're going to have... And they're all exclusive. None of our multi-platform games are all exclusive to Sony. And they're all really, really good games. So I would... If I did not have a PS4, and I did not have... I didn't have all those games already because I bought the Horizon Complete Edition last Black Friday for 20 I may have got it later because it did it released after Black Friday. It released early December. And then they went on sale somewhere for 20 and Best Buy matched it. And I had the Gamers Club unlocked, so I got it for like 14 or 15 Yeah, $15.99, I believe, is what I paid for it. There it is a year later for $10, and it's a great game. Great game. There's Detroit Becoming Human 20 still, and God of War is a down to 30 today at Best Buy, or at GameStop. But I'll wait a couple days to get it for 17 But yeah, I mean, I would definitely, if you've never played the Uncharted games, most, most definitely, I mean... At the very least, start with the uh, that uh, the Nathan Drake collection because I loved Uncharted One. It had its issues because it was um, it was the first one, and I think um, one of the big issues I think was the enemies were a little bit of kind of like bullet sponges. <laughs> like like I remember there was one time I playing on normal mode. I wasn't playing on hard or whatever. You you you're coming around the corner and there's a doorway. You can tell like this area you're about to have a little firefight. And there's a guard right there by the door, and his back is turned to the door. So I'm right behind him. So I, you know, aim my gun, and I go right to the back of his neck, and pop! And that dude just turns around and starts firing. I'm like, no, 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 wait! I popped that dude in the back of his neck. But, you know, you gotta make the firefight. So yeah, I am a huge fan of the Uncharted series. I like the storytelling. I like the gameplay, the gunplay. It's funny, I don't really like first-person shooters, but I really like the kind of those third-person, over-the-shoulder, you know, cover-based shooters. And I, I really dug Uncharted. It's got platforming elements and exploration elements, too, but it's a little, you know, at least the first two were more linear than, you know, it wasn't, you weren't going off the beaten path. Anyway, um, yeah, I would definitely check out Uncharted. Back to uh, the sale at GameStop, this Pro Day one. Like I said, so we're at $32. I paid $32 for Spider-Man. We're not going to beat that. I also got this for $32. Remember, last week, Pro Day, this game had been out for a week. There it is. Red Dead Redemption 2, baby. Used, pre-owned. $54.99 Fifty-four ninety-nine base price. You put in all those coupons I'm talking about. I paid sixty-four for this and for Spider-Man. Sixty-four dollars total. Some states who have sales tax couldn't get one of these games for sixty-four dollars. Well, I get to jump in and see what South Park's been talking about. Oh, there's a is it two disc. Oh, it is. I did not know that. <laughs> now I do. God, it's so big it needs a two disc from PS4. Wow. Awesome. I uh, love the original or the, the, the Red Dead Redemption 1 on PS3 where I played it. I haven't played much Red Dead Revolver. And they both came complete. 
Looks like these stickers are going to come off with absolutely no issues. Boom. Just like that. It's like I didn't even, it's like I bought it new. Well, the case is a little warped right there. That's all right. Spider-Man, is that going to come off? Come on. Come on. Honestly, I can swipe out the cases. I don't need my Red Dead Redemption case to look all that great. Boom! So, not going to beat those deals on Black Friday. I'm so happy they were in stock used. Awesome. Am I am I now, or is it just that occasional, let me know, does it look good? You know, am I, am I sounding all right? All that good stuff. I, I know when I, I see like a reconnecting and a spinning wheel, that's not completely disconnecting, just going right to reconnecting. So I don't know what's going on. Uh, back to Best Buy. I picked up a couple things from there. I had a few things like in the cart. And I finally just kind of pulled the anniversary collection. Wow. They did an amazing job, I think, on this. And I like it. It's getting some some pushback from some people reviewing it online because you think SNK, you start thinking Neo Geo, you're thinking um, Metal Slug, King of Fighters, Samurai Showdown. This is going further back. This is Bad Dudes. This is uh, all three Akari Warriors games. Um, A couple other, like, uh, Crystallis. So what they did is took some old school arcade games, and if the game had an NES conversion, they have the NES version on here as well. So you can play the Akari Warriors arcade game, which, as far as I know, it hasn't been emulated officially on any other system, and then play the crappy NES version. Same thing with Akari Warriors two and three. Uh, you have a game like Crystallis only came out on on NES on here. That's a great RPG. It's really awesome. I picked it up earlier this year. Did I pick it up? It's a great title. The best part about this is they're adding another round of games via DLC for free if you got the game. So if you got the game, just load it up, and when they release those games, I think sometime early to mid-next month, it's just going to update and add those games to this. So... What is that title from? I'm going to look that up real quick. I mean, all the games on here, like, only one of them was, like, you know, kind of a stinker, in my opinion. One or two of them. Uh, Official website. Alpha Mission. It's a shooter. Also, it's got the console and arcade, so it's got the NES. Athena, that's for the bikini girls from Athena console and arcade Akari warriors one, two, three console and arcade gorilla war console and arcade POW console and arcade prehistoric isle arcade. I don't think came out on any. No psycho warrior, uh, street street smart. That's kind of a fighting game. I think that's, uh, kind of the one that's kind of like, eh, uh, Tank 3 Vanguard. Vanguard, the arcade version. I think the only home console version of Vanguard was Atari 2600. Um, Chopper, Fantasy, Munch Mobile. Okay. Time Soldiers. Time Soldiers. And then they're adding... Let's see. What's that? I can't read it. Beast. Beast Busters. Bermuda Triangle. Uh, Paddle Mania is something, I can't pronounce that. Search and Rescue and World War. So they're adding six titles just, here, here you go. So this is a nice collection. I want to say it's 30 bucks. Do I have, I don't, not coming out of the receipt. Maybe 40. I want to say it's 30. Let me look. Live stream, we will check it out. But the Switch, man, I think this is coming to PS4 later. It's currently only on the Switch. But the Switch, 
is not only a great system for current Nintendo thirty nine ninety nine, so I got it you know for thirty two with the, the the discount. The Switch, I mean, it's got the great current Nintendo titles. Odyssey's awesome. Breath of the Wild's awesome. You know, tons of awesome titles. And you got this if you're a retro game fan. You got this. You got um, the Capcom Beat 'Em Up bundle, which is only downloadable. I wish they put a physical one out, but it's only downloadable. And there's like SNKs releasing uh, um, Neo Geo Classics on the Switch. There's two other companies like putting out um, old school like shooters and fighting games. You know, everything from like Burger Time and um, uh, Moon Patrol to like 90s uh, beat 'em ups and shooters. And you got Nintendo themselves putting up the definitive arcade version of Donkey Kong. The arcade version of Punch Out, which I fired up the other day, these are all $7.99. Buying the, like, I don't think they put the original Punch Out on anything. Anything until the Switch. Now you got the arcade version of Punch Out, you know, with Glass Jaw and, and Mr. Sandman and Bald Bull. I think it's awesome. Old school, man. Old school. All right. Are you guys still watching this? <laughs> one more Best Buy. I bought these at the same time I bought that SNK one. They just took the keys separately. Wow, I bought four titles that day? Really? Huh. Is my SNK on this receipt? No. All right. Ah, oh, Hidden Agenda. <laughs> I bought this because it was like, uh, it was on clearance. <laughs> what did I pay for this? It wasn't a whole lot. <laughs> Is that on here? Four bucks. <laughs> Four bucks. But it seems interesting. Like, first of all, you play it on your phone. No controllers. You download the app or whatever, and it's multiplayer. How many people? Does it say how many people can join in? One to six. So it's kind of like a whodunit, um, like kind of detective, and but it's it's kind of like the atmosphere is like, whoa. So from what I heard, like of this little play link style, play link style games that. PlayStation 4 came out like a year or two ago. This one's like the uh, the gym. Like the the one that's not just like a, you know, crappy, poorly thrown together party title. It actually is kind of, you know, entertaining. So, four bucks. Can't beat that. Dead Cells is finally in my collection. GameStop had a sale on this not too long ago, in like another Pro Day style sale, but neither one of my local ones had it, and it was out of stock online. So I finally just pulled the trigger through Best Buy to use the uh, 20% off Gamers Club Unlocked. I knew it wasn't a title that was likely to see a Black Friday deal, and I was right. But yeah, heard tons of good stuff about this title. Could have just bought it download it but <laughs> something about just having like the case and the cart on my shelf i just like it as opposed to on an sd card in the switch tablet yeah old school rogevania it's a metrovania speaking of like indie darling games i'm so happy physical release on the switch Undertale. Wow. <laughs> Friendly RPG where nobody has to die. I don't want to give away too much. I probably know, I haven't played a whole lot of it, but I know too much about this thing already. Um, this game, it looks CK like, oh, it looks like Baby's First RPG. No, this game, from what I understand, can mess you up. <laughs> Feels like a heavy package. I'm gonna open it real quick. Feels like there's something other than just a cart in there. So what's it come with? I gotta know. I gotta know. What? 
No, all right. Never seen somebody stick a catalog in there before. Is that a discount code or just like buy our junk? It's a buy our junk from Fangamer. Look at this manual. Look at that. It's got the gold spine, like old school, like children's storybooks. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh wow. Look at that. Wow. What a package. Wow. It's not even it's not an instruction book, it's an art book. It's an art book. It is that, that spine is stiff though, so I don't want to open it or mess around with it too much. Undertale. I'm pretty sure I've got it on PS4 downloaded. But um yeah, I wanted the physical in my collection. Ooh, throw the cell thing away real quick. Am I missing any comments? Nope, I'm not. Good to see a few of you watching. Please feel free to chime in. I do have a couple more pickups. This is back to the retro game store. I watched a guy play Undertale Online. It has so many twists. Yep. <laughs> it certainly does. <laughs> I'm going to run through it again. They just announced a, se- they announced a sequel like the day after I ordered that. Or like, a, I don't know if a sequel, but a similar, same people with kind of Undertale-ish type game. So anyway, back to the retro video game store. Um, I took in some other stuff. Some more stuff from that $600 bundle and things to trade in. And I also used, I had a $300 gift card for about the past, well, for the past year. And I used $210 of the $300 gift card to eat at uh, Hell's Kitchen in Las Vegas. Gord Ramsey's Hell's Kitchen. In fact, I uh, I swiped the pen for my uh, waiter. <laughs> like, dude, can I have that pen? He's like, yeah, sure. Is that going to focus on there? Probably not. There it is. Gordon Ramsay, Hell's Kitchen, Caesar's Palace. I'll help move it. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I had $90 left on this gift card. So, I traded in a couple things. I've actually got a lot of credit, not only in a $5 game box. I got like $22 in the $5 game box wallet in credit there. I've now got my wallet. So I've got, uh, where's it at? $32 in credit from other stuff. Common credit. I can't use it on anything good. I can only use it on common stuff. So, you know, there's always some NES game or Super Nintendo title that I don't have that's, you know, not expensive and he'll let me use the credit. Also got some cash from selling. <laughs> that's my, some of my Black Friday shopping cash right there. So anyway, with the uh, some of the... what I, I traded in some good stuff, so he allowed me to use it towards this I'm about to show, plus the $90 on that gift card. I picked up one really good title and one... Pricey title. It's not a great game, but it's one I wanted in my collection to, you know, expand, keep getting, you know, good NES games. That's this uh, RoboCop Three. Robo the RoboCop games on NES, all arcade type, you know, run and gun, and they're all based on arcade games, which means they're kind of quarter munchers, and you know, quarter munchers on NES sometimes can be frustrating because. Everything's just meant to kill you really quick, and you just want to play the damn game. Cart's in really excellent shape. Uh, RoboCop 3, definitely the pricier of the three RoboCop games on NES. First one's pretty common. You probably get it for 10 to 12 bucks. Second one in the $20 range, 20 to 25 um, This one I have seen upwards of 40 on eBay. He got it to me for $35 in good shape. So RoboCop 3. And then, this game is pricey, 
but I'm very happy to have it. It's a Sega Saturn exclusive. He's had it in his store for a few months, and I've been eyeballing it pretty much every time I go in there. And I remember seeing it in the magazines, the diehard game fan, the game pros, the GMs back in the day. Um, got Mr. Bones. Look at that. A nice, beautiful copy of Mr. Bones. Let's see if I can get it not reflecting on the computer screen. <laughs> Mr. Bones is a, uh, I don't really know how to describe it. Um, I think it's kind of a platformer. It's got music from Ronnie Montrose, blues guitarist. Yeah. Like I said, immaculate copy. It's a two disc one. There's disc two. And uh, get that in there. Disc one. And, of course, the manual, everything is there. It's a really nice addition to the Sega Saturn collection. Right there. Can't wait to run through that. Or at least put it through. Because, I mean, unlike a lot of Saturn stuff, I don't think this is available anywhere. You know, some Saturn stuff you can download. I, I was watching some video the other night. How much Saturn stuff is available, just download on Xbox. Box 360. You want to play Guardian Heroes, which is sat, you know, a good title uh, or copy of that for Saturn or when you 150. I think I paid 150 for mine. It's up on Xbox Live, probably twenty dollars or less. All right. Oh, oh, don't drop. Do not drop. Stay there. That's a nice little uh band of pickups right there and if, if i do stay so myself um been a couple of pretty good weeks as far as switch games got four switch titles two sega cd titles um an nes a saturn one in box n64 a dreamcast and some really good well mostly good ps4 titles red dead and spider-man uh, detroit I'm looking forward to the single player in Spider-Man or, or in Star Wars and also checking out Tempest 4000. I've got a couple days off coming. i got Thanksgiving off, which I may spend some time doing some stuff with family or whatnot. But i got all of Friday off. But I plan to have my Black Friday shop done before Friday so I can just sit here and watch football and drink and play video games, which is like a good day. Speaking of Black Friday, you want to talk Black Friday. Tell me about Black Friday. What are you looking forward to on Black Friday? Uh, let's run through Black Friday real quick. I need to pull up because this spreadsheet I have does not have the full GameStop ad. And the full GameStop ad is on point, I think. I think GameStop is knocking out of the park. I honestly can't believe how out of the park they're knocking it. Um, anyway, what am I getting on Black Friday? I already showed that Netgear router. I am all about that Netgear router. Also, a Walmart, Best Buy, maybe even Target. Um, don't know what you're looking for yet. Do you need some help? <laughs> you want to have a little little uh, education session on Black Friday right now? You got some time? <laughs> I'm going to get... It's forty nine dollars. It's usually ninety nine dollars, so it's usually one hundred. It's gonna be down to fifty. A Roku Ultra. I use my Roku three attached to this TV over here, right over there, where I'm currently streaming NFL Red Zone. I use that, and I'm streaming it through the Roku three. I've had it now for a couple of years, two or three years, two two years. Bought it at a thrift store in Helena for forty. When it was regularly a hundred then, but man, I watch YouTube through that. I watch when I subscribe to Netflix. I watch Netflix through that. I watch uh, NFL Red Zone through that. If I have WWE Network, I watch it through that. Um, uh, Pluto TV, uh, everything. I stream to Roku. Apps, Fox Sports app, Fox, in network apps, HBO app, Showtime, Stars. Use the Roku. 
I've got the 4K TV. The Roku 3 cannot output at 4K. It can do 1080p, but cannot output at 4K. It does have a wired connection, so it's onto my internet, wired, so I don't have to worry about wireless, you know. It'll be better when I got the router. The only problem I've had with my Roku Ultra is audio sync with Netflix. Oh, I haven't heard about that. That's no good. Huh. So I just figure if I got a 4K, I don't really have anything currently that produces con or output at 4K. The PS4 doesn't. I don't have a Pro. My Xbox One is right there, and it's the original one. So that's 1080p, not 4K. I'm strongly debating getting an Xbox One X. I will have to dip into some funds to get an Xbox One X, but I really, really want one. I've been trying to get the get that Taco Bell one. Yeah, I ate way too many fucking double chalupas to try to get that stupid, stupid Xbox One X from, from Taco Bell. And although I've still got a few days to try, with the free code they've got online now, no more double chalupa boxes for me. I guess input the same code over and over until the contest is over. But I really want it. Then again, there's some great deals on PSVR, and I kind of want to give that a try, but do I want to give it a try by paying $200 for it? Oh, I don't know. Just restart episode a few times and then you're good. Might be my HDMI cable. Well, currently for me, it's not too much of an issue because I don't have Netflix. And um, I'm kind of letting stuff build up. I just found that I let that Netflix sub keep going and going, even if I watched absolutely nothing that month. I'll be like, well, the new season of Orange is the New Black will be out soon. Oh, uh, you know, they'll... This movie will be up in a couple weeks. I think it lets stuff build up. And the next time I subscribe to Netflix, you know, the, it'll probably be like the next season of Glow. That will be up. And then the last season of Orange and the New Black. That'll be up. And then, of course, they've got the, 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 the next uh, Making a Murderer. That's up right now. And there's, I'm sure that there's that Hunting on Hill. I've heard that's pretty good, even though it'll probably scare the shit out of me. That'll be up. And your things, whatever, will be up. And I can just sit there and binge. Kind of what I need to do over the next month with Amazon Prime. Because Amazon, my Amazon Prime ends in January. And I don't have any intention, I think, of renewing for one twenty nine. I don't use it that much. So I think I need to find out what's on Amazon Prime. There, I see some advertisement for some Julia Roberts TV show. Give that a run, I guess. And then We'll see. But anyway. Yeah, so Roku Ultra, 50 bucks. A new router at Costco, $130. There's other routers, one in Walmart, one in Best Buy for around 100 They're also a Netgear, like Nighthawks, but they're not that one that's in the Costco ad. I think I'm going to go with one in Costco, pay the 130 So I'm at $180 with a router and a um, Roku. Uh, other stuff, if you want a 4K TV, there's some good deals. I do some research. I've heard nothing but really awesome things about TCLs. I have heard they have, like, you know, sometimes they're hit or miss. So I buy it from a place as a decent return policy so you can take it back. If it, you get a good TCL for the, the features that they have versus the price, you're getting a really good value. And especially on places like Reset Air, like, you know, hardcore gaming forums, I've heard TCLs, um, like big 4K TCLs for gaming. Because they have high dyna dynamic range, HDR, really quick refresh rates. So if you're, if you're gaming, I've heard TCLs, best bang for your buck. But if you're looking for TVs, there you go. Anything else, uh, toys or, you know, appliances, can't really help you much. There is a deal on a uh, Instant Pot. Every every place has got a deal on an Instant Pot, and I've heard nothing but, like, you if you want to, like, eat better and maybe eat a little healthier, which I do, you need to get your damn self an Instant Pot. So I'm really debating spending... Sorry. 
back again. Anyway, and, I, and like I was saying, I have a coworker try and talk me into buying Control BB-8 from Target for fifty dollars, which looks really awesome, like a lot of fun. But I w- like I got no room to play with a little remote control BB-8, but it looks fun. So let's talk about some games. Use your Instapot one or two times a day. See, this is like I need to like once once we're done tonight when I'm like watching football. Whatever, like the, the, the Bears and Vikings play tonight. 